I am a 1928 Alden boat schooner of the finest design. My original owner of note, in tandem with an adept skipper, Boatswain's mate, knew me well, as a resolutely our Bermuda racer. And Ahoy, mates! My name is Joa, and I'm on a mission to save the schooner tradition. I'm back here in the shop today, and apparently I'm in the outboard motor business now. I've got this thing stripped down, and she's running, but she's not taking fuel up. So I've got the carburetor off, and I think I see a pretty gummed up area straight away. This is an old Johnson 9.9 two stroke with the long leg. I know I've got spark and I went ahead and started her on some starter fluid. I'm seeing right there. You can tell me if I'm blind, but that thing's plugged or clogged or whatever you want to call it. I've been trying to push fuel through the line and I've gotten to this point. It's flowing everywhere up to here. Let's see what happens with this part. Well, I'm in into the carb so far so good none of this stuff looks bad this looks good it must be a clogged jet in there somewhere on your johnson evan two-stroke carburetor let's uh break it down and clean it up and my eyes have gone bad as i get to be an old man there's our float and her spring she did run, but she doesn't want to take fuel. So let's find out why. I can see straight through that one. So that ain't it. Since we have a little time before our haul out, it gives me a little time to start working on the history of tradition. And I was very fortunate to be in touch with somebody who knows the boat well from his childhood. Oh, come on, baby. And he's going to be giving me all kinds of details on the old girl. He doesn't want to appear on camera. So I'm just going to see what I can do to convey his thoughts to you guys. He wrote a very cool poem. I am the tradition. My heritage goes back hundreds of years when the fishing schooners of Captain's Courageous Fame and the schooner Aretha F. Spinney and others were in their prime. I am a 1928 Alden boat schooner of the finest design. My original owner of note, in tandem with an adept skipper, Boatswain's mate, knew me well. As a resolutely our Bermuda racer and charter boat, I brought smiles to all my guests and charters in Greenport, New York. My crew volunteered and stepped up to serve our country in World War II. We became part of the Hooligan Navy, attached to the U.S. CGR Corse Air Fleet in early 1942, and sailed out to meet the German U-boat threat, armed with a Thompson machine gun, a 1911 service 45 pistol, a sounding device, a two-way radio, and our own innate wits. We were the first search and rescue with a dual mission. My time at sea in the early years was spent in leisure and wonderment of my owner and brave skipper. I missed them when they moved on. I miss them today, although they have long passed on. My later years have been spent in the hands of some pretty rough sailors, as I did not fare well. I am 90 years young, but feel so much older. I am languishing in paradise now with only seagulls and cormorants and mold to keep me company. My owners have forsaken me, and I know not why. Master craftsmen are awaiting to get their hands on me, but I am invisible to half the world. The designs of John Alden and the oldest boat builders in America, the Hodgden brothers, would not be happy to see me like this. I am asking for help, so I can return home and be brought back to my sailing prowess. Teach people the fun of sailing again, thereby continuing my journey upon the high seas of the North Atlantic and beyond. I am of tradition. What is tradition, you ask? Come hither and yon, 
I'll show ye all so we can make sense of it. By Craig Mahoney, 2019. So the story of tradition. Apparently during World War II, when the German U-boats were striking merchant vessels off the East Coast in the North Atlantic and all up and down the East Coast, they conscripted private wooden vessels to be Coast Guard scouting vessels. And they were known as the Picket Patrols. Tradition was one of 30-something ships based out of Greenport, New York on Long Island Sound. And these boats would go out for two weeks to a month at a time with a crew of six to eight people and they would hunt for submarines as well as picking up um, sailors lost at sea from sunken ships and she served her country honorably as a member of the United States Coast Guard. I would think this thing should run. Carbonator rebuild, float, needle valve, Looks like it works. Seems like there's a lot of outboards around with the similar issue. Well, one most popular issue is forgetting to put the safety halyard kill switch key in. <laughs> Second most popular is fouled carburetors from letting fuel sit in the system. And especially here in Hawaii, we don't have much non-ethanol. Everything is junk gas and it just turns to varnish quickly actually. So if you want to have a small engine work for you in Hawaii, gasoline, two-stroke or four-stroke, you got to run them out of gas before you store them, flush them well, and use non-ethanol gas as much as you can. I think she's ready to go back in. It's getting dark. Two nuts. This one's not so bad. The other side. Is super tight. You gotta have elf fingers here. <laughs> How to get your hand in there? There it is. Magic. So after World War II, I heard tradition went down to Puerto Rico and the Caribbean, and she was a smuggling vessel. She probably didn't get too much yachty type attention for a long time. I heard she run aground and sunk off the west coast of South America. She was raised again. I believe she went back up to the Pacific Northwest at some point and then made it to Hawaii. And I know she's been here in Hawaii for at least as long as I've been here, which is um, since 2000. That boat has been sitting down there at the LOI. Definitely the history of World War II is quite interesting. I was watching the A&E or whatever History Channel documentary and you could see images of tradition at work. It's pretty amazing and so many years later to, to have her as our project. When we found that boat she really called out, called out for help in a way. We didn't want to see her left there like that. We've got love for that stuff. All right, mates. We're uh, just about ready to try this again. I still have the air cleaner off of it. It's dark. I should have fuel in the bowl. And if it's not picking it up inside the carb, that means I didn't clean the carb out well enough. Give me a second here. Put some water in. Yeah, almost enough. What's your what you're thinking? Think she'll go? Let's see. It's smoking like a banshee too. I sprayed some of this decarb in there. I think that's what that is. Find out.
bet you she needs an impeller. But that's a good start, okay. 